Why do we like vintage stuff? I haven't really been able to figure that out for myself yet, although I've been that way my whole life and a lot of people have. I think Gen Z and the millennials have had a such an obsession with things that have come before them. And it's really brought things back to a point where, you know, vinyl records have come back and people are producing it. It, it becomes lucrative to release your album on vinyl. People want that these days and they want to get back into it. And the same thing with film. We've had a resurgence of 35 millimeter film and eight millimeter. Uh, the companies are making these film stocks again. Um, so I'm only 22, so a lot of people may think that these things aren't that old, and they really aren't. But this video, I just wanted to kind of dive into why I personally find these things intriguing as someone who is fairly young, but what it means to us and what it means kind of to get back into that. I think a lot of it has to do with just the influx of social media these days. Um, how quickly you can post photos, how quickly you can access music with streaming. So for me, I think a lot of it has to do with that tactile and analog uh, process, whether it be through music or film photography. Just the ability to click a button or wind a, a, a winder thing, <laughs> I don't know. Put the needle and drop the needle onto the vinyl. It does seem a little cheesy, like why, why are we so enamored in that? but it really is just an analog and tactile response to things that you enjoy that you don't get with mediums these days with Spotify and with Instagram and quickly taking photos and videos. That all has its place obviously and we enjoy that, but the tactile and analog response is really what I feel connects us to the medium that we enjoy. Obviously in the past you didn't have a choice. You, the analog way of doing things was the only way of doing things. Um, I think that's what draws millennials and Gen Z to that because we are now in a point where we have options and we kind of want to experiment with what the options we have. Obviously there's one option which is digital and all that which is highly convenient and so that's why it's become so popular, it's just more convenient. But the way that we actually do have options now brings us full circle to where we really want to experiment with those things in the past. I think honestly the first reason is really just that tactile and analog feel. The connection that you can have to the medium, whether it be dropping the needle onto the vinyl or plugging in a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, rest in peace, to an iPod. Um, and obviously some of these things are more vintage than others, but just the tactile feel of something other than a touchscreen, something other than the digital world that we live in. It just brings a heightened experience. Um, it can make it so the hobby is more fulfilling for me. Um, it's amazing to collect music in your Spotify playlists, but the hobby of collecting physical medium music is just completely heightened because of the analog experience. And obviously it's less convenient, but the hobby and just the experience of that is just heightened to an extent where it's just more fun. And in a similar way, just the connection with the subject, whether it be with uh, photography. When you're taking a film photo, you have to take your time. You have to make sure your framing is correct, unless you want to go through a bunch of film and waste money. The connection with the subject is heightened because you're not just taking 10 frames per second photo bursts. You really sit down and you focus on what you're taking a photo of. And a similar thing is applied to music where you don't just skip through a playlist every second. If you don't like the song, skip, 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 skip. There's a place for that, obviously, because nobody really has the time to sit down and listen to 45 minutes of a vinyl record all the time. But there's a super awesome experience of doing that because you don't just get to skip the songs without a hassle. So I think that's important and it really connects to the medium and the subject, whether it be through photo, video, or music, or any vintage thing. The ability to really connect with the subject and connect with the medium in a way that you just don't get with digital at this point. And honestly, I guess the last thing I'll say is just the connection to the past. Obviously that sounds a little cheesy, especially when people are still alive who experienced all of that in the past. But for people my age, I think just the experience of connecting to the past and doing things the way that people have done in the past is just important for one thing. Obviously, 
the saying goes, um, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. And that's really dramatic and not really applies to the situation, but it's still where you look at the past and you understand how people did things. And for me, who I enjoy researching, I enjoy learning how everything works that I come across. Just being able to see the stepping stones of the technology that we have today, whether it be uh, mini DV tapes. I mean, this was not that old, but now this is kind of the stepping stones to how we got to digital storage formats and, and how we take video right now, how I'm filming this right now, um, was on the back of things like this, these portable ways of recording what you're seeing. And obviously the same thing with photography, when you have the film sensor, basically, and how that's developed and, and how digital photography has taken so much from film photography and we wouldn't even have it without it. So it's not only just reading in a book and, and reading about these things, but even just experiencing them can give you a heightened ability to understand and appreciate what we have now which for people my age i think we are we are definitely lacking in a lot of that we we want to see what's next we want to experience what's going on right now only i think that's why a lot of people my age have also went back and we we're like we want to experience things that other people have experienced in the past and and things that aren't as convenient but they really slow us down in a world where we're constantly being pushed to find the next best thing and, and forget things that are less than convenient. So I think that's really just the main parts of why I enjoy these things. I really wanted to make this video to kind of codify how I feel about it, because I've never really done that. I've always just tried to find the next cool thing at eBay or Goodwill and figure out what it does and what and how it works. But I never really sat down and thought about why me and so many others have actually embrace these things. So yeah, just let me know in the comments uh, how you feel about it, and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I'm gonna try to make more videos like this, um, as well as other videos. Obviously, if you look at my channel, this is one of the first ones. Please like and subscribe if you like what you have seen. It'll kind of just allow me to continue and want to continue to make videos like this, because I really enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.